Hey players, how you doing? Welcome back to Player's Guide. This episode of Player's Guide, I'm talking about GameCube collecting, where you can find the games, which games are rare, and what you need to keep an eye out for if you're looking to collect for the GameCube. The North American GameCube collection consists of 552 different titles. This does not include bonus discs or demo discs. There are 112 different player's choice games available on the GameCube that you can also collect. Those are the ones with the yellow on the uh, spine and on the front label of the game. So in the life cycle of collecting, which I am going to make a video on, so stay tuned for that, the GameCube falls under an older generation console. Which means it's not quite retro yet, but it's not last gen, it's a bit older than that. So the places you're going to be able to find these games are thrift stores, Kijiji, Craigslist, yard sales. Those are the places you're probably going to find the best deals on them. Uh, but there's also the obvious uh, used game stores that you can go to. Usually independently run stores will have uh, probably better value on their games and also the best selection for the GameCube. You're gonna to wanna to keep an eye out for demo discs, some sports games that are actually fairly rare on the GameCube, such as Backyard Sports and NCAA Basketball 2003. Both are pretty hard to find, um, but you might find that somebody didn't quite know what they had and um, you can pick it up there. The GameCube component cables, the licensed component cables, very hard to find. Um, there's some things like the WaveBird controller, uh, not too hard to find, but it's a great controller and it is very sought after, so it has a decent amount of value to it. There's some certain variants um, that uh, are more rare than other um, copies of the same game on the GameCube and also uh, a lot of popular titles especially if you're looking at uh, yard sales or you know Kijiji ads or thrift stores because somebody who may have had a small collection of games back in the day that they held on to for the past 10 or so years and then now they're they're giving it up and and selling it or giving it away or letting it go whatever they're doing with it um, there's usually usually you can find some pretty solid titles and uh, that's that's something that uh, you're obviously going to want to pick up if you don't have them already. So the top five rarest GameCube games, and I'm not going to count Pokemon Box here, even though it would be considered the rarest because it's not an actual game. So keep an eye out for Pokemon Box. That's very rare. Um, but here are the top five. I'm going to run them down from one to five uh, rarest games on the GameCube that uh, you should keep an eye out for. So the number one is probably NCAA College Basketball uh, 2003. Number two would be Cubivore, very rare game. I don't think it's a secret that this game is rare, so you'll probably have a hard time finding it and have to pay quite a bit for it. Number three is the Metroid Prime Wind Waker combo, and... This one is another very rare one. Uh, most GameCube collectors would already know about this, but you know what? Some of the people selling off um, their small collections on uh, Kijiji or, or, you know, giving it away to a thrift store uh, probably don't. You know, they know the games, they know they're popular, so they probably, I don't imagine they would just give those games away because they're great games, but you never know. Uh, good, another one, got to keep an eye out for it. Uh, gotcha Force. Gotcha Force is the fourth rarest. And then Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Um, this is a very popular Fire Emblem game and somewhat expensive. Uh, the, the thing about it is, is I've seen this one in game stores a few times, so I don't think it's really quite as rare as those other games. Uh, but it is, it's definitely a rare title. So here's, here's some other games I have, and there's, there's quite a few of them. Um, there's about 15. They're, they're fairly uncommon or rare. They might even be able to bump out um, 
Fire Emblem. So I'm just going to read them off the list here for you. So if you got a pen and paper and you want to jot them down because you don't know all the rares to look for, um, here they are. So Pokemon Box, as I mentioned, uh, this was only available at the Nintendo Store in New York. Um, so that's what makes it so rare. But again, this isn't a game. Uh, chances are you're going to have to buy this one online. Um, but you know what? Keep an eye out for it anyways. You never know because you might hit the jackpot. Um, the GameCube Player Startup Disc. Uh, a lot of people didn't keep this disc for whatever reason. Some people did. I've seen this one in game stores too. Uh, but it is it is uncommon. And it can get a little bit expensive. And then we have demo discs. So demo discs are obviously not common. Um, and there's, there's around 70, I think, of them. I'm not exactly sure on the number. I don't know if it's documented somewhere. If it is, and you could leave a link in the comments, I mean, I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'm sure anyone else watching this video would. So if you have that information, please share it. But I think there's around 70 different ones. And uh, then the Nintendo component cables, I mentioned that. Uh, bonus disc with the two Zelda games. I think this was a pre-order um, special. Fantasy Star, Episode 1 and 2, plus. It has to be the plus. Fantasy Star Online, Episode 1 and 2, are apparently, you know, not, not too hard to come by. But the plus, you got to look for that little plus. Um, and that's... That's what makes it rare and uncommon. Backyard Sports. I think this one might be kind of underestimated in terms of its rarity, but it is an uncommon game, and you don't see it often. And you might have even overlooked it before. Because uh, there's, I think it's Backyard Sports. There's a Backyard Sports Baseball. That's That one's really common. Um, I think there's some other Backyard Sports games. So they're all common. There's some Disney sports games. Those aren't so common. Those are worth picking up if you see them. Uh, Go Go Hyper Grind. That's an uncommon game. Billy Hatcher. Another uncommon game. Uh, Skies of Arcadia. Zelda Collector's Edition. Promo 4 Disc. Uh, and Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. So if you didn't know about any of those, jot them down. Um, you know, it's good that this is on YouTube. You can always rewatch, pause, and, and write that stuff down. So those are the games you want to keep an eye out for when you are game hunting. So that's the gist of GameCube collecting. If you have any comments that you'd like to leave, uh, please leave them below. This video does come equipped with a comment section. There is also a subscribe button, which is free to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any family members or friends, you can share this video with them as well. I'm sure that they would like to watch it. Anyways, that's it for this week. Later, players.